As a partial government shutdown continues, businesses from local restaurants to rideshare drivers in Washington are feeling the hit. I'm trying to work to make a little extra money to make a living for myself, you know, it's pretty tough. No customers uh, coming here. We cannot pay our rent, we cannot pay salary, it's too much. The prolonged shutdown only has negative effects on the economy and businesses across the nation, says Sam Berger, who was a policy advisor during the 2013 shutdown. I think according to the White House, it's like two and a half billion dollars a week. And I think it's it's not just the, the, the straight numbers of the economic effect, it's the hardship that's being sort of rippling throughout the challenges that it's posing uh, for small businesses. Despite the impact the government shutdown is having on local businesses, President Trump continues to push for funding the border wall with Mexico. The only solution is for Democrats to pass a spending bill that defends our borders and reopens the government. Congressional Democrats oppose the wall and believe Trump is holding the country hostage to deliver on a core campaign promise. People in the capital city are frustrated by the standoff. Uh, right now, it's so slow. It looked like it was really dead this morning. No action, nobody around. Whatever you're asking for, give it to them. Because, <laughs> you know, at this point, it hurts everybody. Since the shutdown began in December, some restaurants have been offering free food at a designated time of the day to help furloughed federal employees who are not being paid. From 6 to 8, government furlough workers get free pizzas. And I think that's awesome because there's so many people who aren't able to make, you know, ends meet sometimes. On Saturday, the shutdown becomes the longest in U.S. history. Anna Cook, BOE News, Washington.